What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how I can use my MIDI keyboard inside of Unreal Engine 5 to control different properties. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right here, I have Unreal Engine 5 opened up and I actually have my MIDI keyboard right here. It's the Akai MPK MIDI 3. And so I'll leave a link down below to an Amazon link if you guys wanna check this one out, it's pretty cheap. But to get started, I'm gonna come over here to where it says edit, come down here to plugins, and then I just wanna type in remote. And so the one that we wanna turn on right here is called Remote Control Protocol MIDI. It's saying it's in beta in Unreal Engine 5, but if you use a 4.27, it's not gonna say beta, but I'm just gonna click on this, and then it's gonna pop up with this message, basically telling you that it's beta. I'm just gonna click yes, and then I'm gonna click restart on here and let Unreal Engine 5 restart. Okay, so now we have Unreal Engine 5 restarted. I'm gonna click this out. I'm gonna come over here to edit, and come down here to project settings. And then over here on the left hand side, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna look for remote control MIDI protocol. So I'm gonna click on this and this is gonna be where we can actually pick our device. So where it says device name, I'm gonna click this one instead. And then I'm gonna scroll this down and right here where it says device name, I should see my keyboard, which is right here, the MPK Mini 3. So I'm just gonna click on that. And if you don't see it, just click this refresh button, but you should see it right away if it's connected. And so now I'm gonna actually exit this out. I'm gonna come down here to my content browser and I'm just gonna right click and right here where it says miscellaneous, I'm gonna scroll down into where I see remote control preset. So I'm gonna click this on and that's gonna bring up this little box here. And I'm actually just gonna save everything like so. And so now I have this box here I'm going to double click it and it's going to come up with this new window here. And so this is where we can control everything that we want to control in Unreal Engine 5 with our MIDI controller. So we can assign different properties like turning stuff on and off. We could change location, etc., etc. So let me show you how to set that up. So what I'm going to do right now is basically let me delete some of the stuff that I don't need in my scene. And I'm just going to add a basic light. So I'm going to come over here to lights, just add a point light just for our little example here and then over here on the right hand side where it has three dots i'm actually going to reset the default so it's all zeroed out and then you can see that we don't have anything in here right now we can't control anything as well and i'm going to enable log just so i can see some of my action commands you'll see where it will make sense later on but let me say that i want to change the location of my spotlight here with my midi controller so what i'm going to do is come over here to where it says locations click on these three dots here and where it says expose property. I'm going to click on this. And now you can see inside of our panel, we actually have the location for our point light here. So I'm actually going to select this. And then you can see right here, it's going to pop up with a new window that will allow us to connect it to our MIDI controller. And so what I'm going to do now is actually click the plus button here. And as I did that, you can see that I had this window pop up down here. And if you're looking at my MIDI controller, that's because I started turning the knobs on my MIDI controller. If I had a key on a keyboard, that data is coming up too. And why this is important is because we need to tell it what attribute we want to assign to what key. And so for the location, I'm going to start with maybe this knob here. So as I'm turning it, you can see that it's channel one and then it has message detail number 70. And so where that's gonna come into play is, let me pull this up like so, make sure I have this selected. And then right here where it says map ID, I wanna make sure I have this on 70 because that's what it's showing right here. And then down here under input, this is gonna be the range of the input where we want everything to happen. So if I come over here and let's just say I start scrolling this, you can see that it's not really moving. And if you look in here, is moving by really small increments, right? And so actually I want this to just move on my up and down arrow here. So I'm gonna zero these out like so, but maybe on this last one, let's say 500. And so now as I'm turning the knob on my keyboard, you can see the light is moving and you can see right here inside the panel how high it's moving. So when I turn it all the way to the right, it's gonna be at 500. When I move it all the way to the left, it's gonna be at zero. So even if I wanted to go even deeper, let's say like negative 100, I wanna do that for this top input. And let me actually delete this like so. So now when I'm scrolling up and down, you can see that it's going below the plane as well. And so that's how we could control our different attributes. And you would do that for anything in here. So let me actually hit Control Z. 
and I'm going to bring that plane back into here just so I can show you maybe how we could turn the light on and off. So if I come back over here to my point light and let's say I want to come down to intensity, I'm going to click on the three dots here, click on expose property. And now you can see it popped up in my panel here. And actually, let's say I want to connect the exposed property to a key. So whenever I'm holding the key down, the light will turn off. And when I let it go, it's going to turn back on. So let me come over here to my keyboard. Let's say I want to use this key here. So I'm going to tap on it. And now I can see that it's channel one and it is number 60 for my message decal. So I'm going to click on my intensity point right here. Click on the plus symbol. Come down here. And actually, let me make this a note on. So if I click on this, this is actually going to control it just for like flipping a switch. And so if I come down here to advanced settings, this is another thing I need to show you because if you click on advanced, I'm using my project settings. And remember, it set my device for whatever I have set up. But let's say you have like multiple MIDI controllers hooked up. You can actually change that here where it says device name. And then you can select any of your MIDI devices, but I'm just going to stick with the project settings for right now. But you do have options to use different MIDI controllers if you have it hooked up to your computer there. And so now let me actually scroll this down. Let me change this attribute maybe to like 50. And I think it was this key here. And actually, I need to change my map ID channel to match this key here, which is 60. So let me click that. And now you can see when I hold it down, it's actually making my intensity 50, but when I let go, it goes back to zero, which is really cool. So you can actually combine these together. Like if I hold down the key here and I'm scrolling up and down like so, and now we're actually controlling it. And so this is a pretty simple example, but imagine if you had this hooked up to like cameras or actors or anything else, like basically any exposed property that you want to connect to your MIDI controller, you could do. So it's up to your imagination or how you want to implement this. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I want to give a big shout out to my man, Patrick Rambold over at Epic that helped me get this set up so I could share this with you guys. Like I said, I'm using my keyboard as a MIDI controller, but most MIDI controllers should work. So if you have one laying around, hook it up and see what kind of stuff you can come up with. And if you find this very helpful and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know some cool stuff that you guys are coming up with using your MIDI controller inside of Unreal Engine. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.